Meet Francesco Jost. He's Swiss, he's an artist, and he's a guinea pig. For the next seven weeks, he's going to try sleeping for just six half-hour naps per day. Why would he want to do that? È abbastanza difficile da spiegare, una cosa del cerco anche un po' di produzione, c'è un aumento di produzione, allora cerco di, di approfondire più un lavoro, cioè tante volte se si fa qualcosa, cioè si produce un, un quadro o si produce qualsiasi oggetto, allora non si ha quasi il tempo di, di riflettere e così mi trovo costretto a riflettere. Beh. Running the experiment at a Boston Sleep Research Institute will be Klaus Stompy. Of course, sleep researchers have to sleep too, so Francesco's brain waves will be recorded 24 hours a day. The first thing to do is measure Francesco's brain waves during a normal 8 hour night sleep to compare with what happens when he goes on the reduced schedule. Like most people, Francesco sleeps in cycles. First light sleep with small rapid brain waves, then deep or slow wave sleep takes over, and finally reach rapid eye movement or REM sleep when we usually dream. Cycles are repeated through the night, lasting at least 90 minutes. So one key question is, what type of sleep will Francesco's body choose if he never sleeps longer than 30 minutes? Probably what will happen is that the uh, body will automatically uh, prefer to concentrate on the sleep stages or in the sleep parts that are more, most important and most necessary. Maybe by this experiment we'll be able to select and filter out what are the uh, physiological aspects of sleep that are more necessary. As the 49-day experiment gets underway, Francesco takes advantage of the extra work time. By day 12, he's getting used to the schedule. Three and a half hours work, a half hour sleep. Throughout each day, he has to record in his computer how he thinks he's doing. So far, everything's on the plus side. Can concentrate, he feels alert. There are regular performance tests, too. Here he has to subtract 9 from 691. Right answer 682. Now it's 8 from 682. Should be 674. Some mistakes. But overall he's doing almost as well as before the experiment began. I was surprised myself to see that the decrease in performance was so... Modern. Francesco was able to adapt to this schedule reasonably well in terms of performance. But what about his type of sleep? Is he getting the three different kinds? He's been asked to note down his dreams, and he's still doing so. So he's probably getting REM sleep, type that goes with dreams, that normally comes at the end of a 90 minute cycle. Claudio searches Francesco's brainwave records for the telltale signs of REM sleep. And he finds them. On the top, the fast brainwaves typical of REM sleep. In the middle, the sudden bursts of rapid eye moves. And below, the characteristic low muscle activity. Francesco's REM sleep is normal. What's not normal is how quickly it starts. A few minutes after sleep on set, REM sleep starts, whereas in a normal night sleep, a REM takes at least 90 minutes, uh, two hours sometimes, and maybe sometimes even three hours to appear initially. So the whole architecture of sleep is changed. Now look at the next nap Francesco took after the REM sleep one. It's mostly deep sleep, characterized by these big, slow brain waves. Francesco seems to be making an extraordinary adaptation to get the three different sleep types. Although his sleep quantity has been cut by more than half, the composition is unchanged. Percentages of sleep stages in the napping schedule are very similar to baseline normal.
small night uh, sleep percentages, which suggests that the all sleep stages may be equally important in the function of sleep. It's now day 33 of the experiment. Francesco is spending a week at the beach. Both mood and performance are slightly below normal, but they're stable. This really seems to be working. Sorpreso che la cioè che adesso per dire riesco a vivere una vita cioè una vita più lunga di confronto normalmente anche in tempo così breve senza aver tanta difficoltà. The experiments now two thirds done and Claudio springs a surprise. Ah, ciao. ciao Franci. Come, Come stai? Bene. Bene. For one night only, Francesco's allowed to sleep all he wants. Claudio wants to know if a sudden sleep bonus can affect performance, but kept quiet about the idea so as not to affect Francesco's mood during the first 30 days. Francesco sleeps for 10 hours. But once he's back on his reduced schedule, his mood and performance improve dramatically and stay that way been exceeding his pre-experiment scores. Claudio isn't sure why Francesco benefited so much, but he thinks sleep bonuses could have practical applications. This suggests that uh, if a person is under an emergency, in a, the emergency is very prolonged and has the possibility of taking one day off, and sleeping as much as the person wants, uh, this will be positive, will, will give good results, and then after that the person can start again the multiple napping schedule, more refreshed than was before. Day 48, just one day to go. During the last week, Francesco's been living at the sleep lab. He's under constant observation because experiments running this long are extremely rare. Anything might happen. But the real problem is, nothing's happening. He often finds it a little tough to, well, really get moving after his half hour nap period. Franci, sveglia, è ora. Francesco, sveglia. No signs. Excuse me. Francesco's girlfriend Magda has a turn. Francesco. He has been two months, seeing only three hours a day, so he has built a tremendous sleep pressure. Now his sleep pressure manifests mostly in a difficulty to wake up rather than sleepiness when he's awake. So although Francesco's been showing sleep pressure for some time, once he wakes up, does just fine on his test scores. Right now, though, it looks like he'll be scoring a zero. gets him to at least sit at the computer, but somehow the questions just don't make sense. And finally, he figures if they really want me to stick with the computer, there's only one way to do it. It took half an hour, but he's finally awake. And amazingly enough, his test scores are right on. He answers no to the question to feel tired. And yes, he can concentrate. After nearly two months with only three hours sleep a day, it's an extraordinary performance. Could anybody do it? Francesco is a normal person, a normal young person, and he's very representative. 
representative, if you wish, of the human species, adult human species. So it is possible to suspect that individuals like Francesco would be able to adapt to this relatively easily to this type of um, multiple mapping pattern. Multiple maps seem to work, although left to itself, the body might prevent their use through sleep pressure. They'll pursue this and other questions at the lab. Francesco will be coming back as a subject, although considering his feelings right now, it's a little hard to see why. È libero. Sono contento e di non fare più soprattutto i test e stare in giro senza dietro, cioè andare in giro normalmente e poi adesso un po' di